The secrets, several secrets we're gonna share with any organization. And those secrets are the secrets that we find amazingly in sport, a place where you can count wins and losses very, very easily, which is harder to do in many other organizations. You gotta have good players. You don't have to have great players. You gotta have good players. That's important. My suspicion is, like with many of our universities around uh, the United States, my suspicion is you've got good players, okay? You've gotta have good coaches. All right, my suspicion is you've got good coaches. Okay, because those become the supervisors and the coordinators and the directors and the deans and, and those kinds of folks. Then you have to have a system that works. Now, in football, that means what kind of offense and defense do you run? You've got to have a system that will work in modern times. What we have to do is have a delivery system that works. We've got to have a system that envisions and determines. We have to have an assessment system that works. We have to have a what do the customers need and want and what are they willing to pay for system. We have to have systems that work. We have to believe in it, which means we have to teach it and teach it and teach it so that everyone here can explain exactly how does a class become a class? How does this become what? How does it end up where it's gonna go? How do we schedule? We need to know those things and that needs to be a good process. If that system doesn't work, that's our playbook, then we need to go back to the playbook and we need to write in new plays so that we have a system that works. We have to believe in it and then we have to run it over and over and over and become very, very good at it. And that is how Walmart built their empire with their distribution system. That's what they did, it was distribution. To where Sam Walton would personally fly over every proposed site of a new store because he wanted to see highways, he wanted to see roads, he wanted to see the lay of the land, and he would personally choose where the store was gonna be. Because they won the corporate wars based upon their distribution system, which is what allowed them to outprice everyone and gain the strength to become the world's largest retailer. Like Walmart or not like Walmart, it was great strategy getting them up to the level that they have in the, uh, in the world. Run the system and then we correct it, we improve it, we update it and we innovate, those things that have value. Others, we have to be willing to, get, uh, to give up. Others, we have to be willing to let go. There are only so many projects and charities that we can fund. We should fund some, but we have to go back and say, in order to be economically viable, then there are things that we have to comp accomplish for the people who cause us to be economically viable. That becomes the reality. That's new normal. Some of the things we learned previously are not true today.